All right, boys, be honest. If I sat here and told you that there is a pellet shotgun that is better than the time loss found verdict, how would you react? Because if I was in your shoes, I would think that I was absolutely crazy because nothing can be better than a time loss found verdict, right? Well, that's where we're all apparently wrong. So Bungie just introduced this new shotgun, the Ragenhild D, and this shotgun has one thing that makes it better than a time loss found verdict. And like I said, I know that sounds weird because time loss found verdict, you have to do a ton of master challenges. It takes a lot of work to get this gun. And this other shotgun is just like a world loot pool. You can get this at any time. But the thing with this shotgun, not only does it have steady hands and elemental capacitor for a stupid amount of handling, it also comes with a 16 base zoom stat. Just to put into perspective how ridiculous that is, Every other shotgun in this game has a 12 zoom. And that 16 zoom actually gives this thing a shit ton of range. Like I'll show you guys right here. Here's a wretch. I'm gonna shoot him with a found verdict. You guys will see 571. I'm gonna shoot him from even further with this shotgun. And we're hitting more damage. That second shot with this thing was literally further away. And if you don't believe me, right? We'll take a look at this shank. We're gonna shoot him with a uh, found verdict when we ADS. 27 damage. This shotgun, a thousand damage. It's literally the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. Now, the one thing Found Verdict definitely has over the Ragonhild is that it has opening shot and the Ragonhild can't get that, which does kind of suck. But at the same time, Ragonhild kind of makes up for it with Elemental Capacitor and the new Steady Hands perk because it's literally overkill for handling on an aggressive shotgun. I never thought I would say that, but it's just completely disgusting. Now I will say this isn't exactly a 5 out of 5 god roll since I don't have full choke, but Barrel Shroud is the second best option, so this is like a 4.5, and I'm probably never going to get better RNG than this again because this was literally my first drop of the shotgun. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about the Ragonhild. I'm going to be pairing it with an Igneous Hammer, a Bottom Tree Stormcaller, Ophidian Aspects, and all of these armor mods right here. I'm actually going to switch these to like hand cannon shotgun mods, but you guys get the points. I will see you guys in the Crucible. Definitely not the greatest map when it comes to aping, but we should be fine. I mean, we're literally running at people with a shotgun. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, okay, never mind. It might actually be pretty hard because there's like eight people over there that are probably in like a six stack. Push this guy right here, he's dead. Dude, that zoom is like, it's actually really, really weird. Like when you get close to somebody, we're gonna try to shock on this guy. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like the range on this thing might actually be like a problem. Like I'm gonna try to snipe this guy. I mean, even then we're hitting like eight on the pellets, which is like, it's kind of crazy. Cause you're just not doing that with like any other shotgun. You know what I mean? We're gonna throw this barricade or not barricade, but his barricade actually gives him an overshield. So I don't really want to push this. Should be able to get a swift shotgun kill on that guy. He's dead. There should be another guy coming up from behind me. I might be able to shotgun this guy as well if we just kind of hold this angle. Is this dude AFK? He, there's two of them that are AFK. Are, are we serious? Bro, I'm not going to lie. I am pretty bad at complaining uh, when people run at, at me in straight lines with shotguns. And then I'm just doing the same thing in this video. But it, it's a little bit different. You know what I mean? I got to do it for the content. Like, you, you know those dudes are out here just playing with the shotgun like that all the time. That is the most annoying thing ever. We're going to head back over the hand cannon shots. I'm actually... Ooh, we might be able to challenge this guy. He does have an overshield. Might not be the best idea. We just absolutely pooped on him, actually. I'm honestly kind of wondering if... What? Way! Is that in the game? Sing, sing! I, I wasted like 700 mats on that kid. He didn't get shot once. He's flying around the fucking map. What did he just do? What the? I've never seen that before. But I'm honestly kind of wondering if this shotgun, like, if they made it like this by mistake. Like, I feel like they wouldn't mean to put this much zoom on a shotgun, but I could be wrong. Like, they've never, like... Okay, every shotgun in the game has 12 zoom. They've never changed a single shotgun, I don't think. And then out of the blue, in this season, for whatever reason, they add this shotgun and it has four more zoom. Like, not one or two more, four more. It just, it seems like a really, really weird thing. We only have one bullet. We're going to make it count. This guy's jumping over. Dude, please die. Oh my god. Oh, dude, what a waste of a super. That was just not... That didn't even tether me for that long. That was actually a big waste of a super. We're going to ape this guy. Might not be... Uh, please kill him. Oh, yeah, it still works. It still works, dude. That is going to be a great counter to Bubble because Bubble's... I just got shit on. Wow, he juked the shit out of me. But yeah, if you guys aren't seeing a lot of Bubble already, you're definitely going to start seeing it because I believe Bubble... Ooh, we're not challenging that. He has an overshield. But Bubble is, I think, a tier 5 super now, so it has the same cooldown as well of Radiance. 
So a lot of people are using it. I don't really blame them. Bubble is actually really, really good, especially for control. Bro, I just realized whenever we get zone cap trials, there's probably going to be a ton of people running like three bubble titans because it's going to be a really toxic loadout. And it's probably going to... Ooh, I have an idea. If I grab the, uh, the bubble buff, how far can we map somebody? I actually do want to see... Okay, that's not really a map right there. I'm... Oh, dude, the bubble's gone. I don't think we're going to have enough time to really test it out. Guy behind me, that's not really a map either, bro. I want to just absolutely map somebody from like somewhere I have no business shooting them from, dude. I gotta say, if I had to estimate where the shotgun kills consistently from, I'd say it's about 8 meters, which is pretty goddamn ridiculous because most shotguns in this game are about 7, I would say. Or I, I guess not most shotguns, most aggressives with like full choke are about 7. So this one being 8 without even having full choke is just... It is absolutely absurd. We're gonna try- Ooh, I might be able to sword skate towards somebody and then map them. I actually overdid that a little bit. We're still gonna map this guy though. Wait a minute, the game's already over? What the f- Okay, we're just gonna sword kill this guy. That was a quick ass game. Holy hell. I mean, definitely not a bad game for being a brain dead ape the entire time. Real quick, I just want to give a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Blazing Boost. If you guys are ever struggling with LFG groups and you really just can't seem to get anything done, Blazing Boost has your back. With over 20,000 five-star reviews, Blazing Boost is easily the most trusted Destiny 2 Sherpa service out there. They offer Sherpas for literally any Destiny activity that you can think of, whether that's Trials of Osiris, Master Raids, Nightfalls, or even Divinity Runs. And for the time being, you guys can use my code GRAVELY in all caps for a 5% discount at checkout. Once again, huge thanks to Blazing Boost for sponsoring today's video. So this time around, we're in a rumble match on Exodus Blue. I'm going to full on ape this guy because why not? I mean, he just finished a fight. Kind of a scummy thing to do, but uh, I really don't care. I'm just going to ape everybody with a shotgun because that's what this video is about. We might be able to get a one tap on this guy. No, it was a little bit too far. Ooh, that actually almost did one tap him from way too far, man. This shotgun is kind of bussing. Okay, this Titan player right here, we're gonna try to hit him with a hand cannon. Dude actually has a little bit better aim than I thought. So I'm gonna throw a nade and he probably is not gonna repeat that, I don't think. Bro, you gotta be paying more attention than that. You weird, buddy. You're weird. Maybe not. Oh my, what the? <gasps> Where did he come from? Okay, I, I don't know where that dude just came from, bro, but we got the one tap. That's all we're looking for. That guy's dead as well. I honestly could have used the Fidians with the shotgun because the handling is so high, but then I wouldn't have the uh, uh, extra melee range. Nice three tap on that guy. I'm just gonna peek over this angle, see if we can get another hand cannon kill. Tag that guy with a hand cannon, swap to the shoddy that didn't kill him. Thank God we have assault mag. Another guy did spawn back here. This might be kind of a risky push. And we're actually gonna test out the one tap range. This is the AFK. The king what? is back. What? Um, yeah, that, that works too. I'm going to pop a riff. This guy's going to challenge. Hit him with the shot. Dude. Oh, he's running triple jump. Okay. I wasn't expecting that because most people do run a uh, strafe jump. Not saying he's a weirdo or anything, but uh, that just really caught me off guard. Hit this guy with a shotgun as well. Another guy coming through here. We're going to hit him with a shotgun too. Dude, this shotgun is honestly not fair. Like, I think this thing needs to be nerfed. Like, they need to take the zoom down. Because I have never seen a shotgun that is more consistent in my life. Like, what is this, man? Okay, this guy has a hand cannon. He's dead as well. Okay, somebody is coming through the left side. He's floating in the air. This guy is dead, bro. It's literally like this shotgun is the best thing I have ever seen in my life. Okay, we just choked completely. But, dude, oh my god. This player is challenging from over here. We're going to hit him with that. He has the glaive. He's dead. I'm going to have to pop this rift. Hopefully, this guy doesn't peek at the uh, wrong time. Floating in the air. We're going to hit him with the... Dude, this guy just duped the shit out of me. He's dead. Another guy over here. He popped Heat Rises? I really don't like this. I'm not going to lie. Okay, is he going to come through here? That'd be a terrible idea. We just juked the shit out of him, bro. Oh my god, we're landing that clean one tap. This guy's jumping in the air. Hit another... Not a one tap. We're going to get the melee kill. Hide behind this and regen. This guy might push. He is going to push. We're going to... He was further than I thought. Good play by him. I'm not going to pop my super just because there's really no points. We're going to clean this guy up with a shotgun. Dude, I literally do think this shotgun is better than Time Loss Found Verdict. And it's, I don't even think it's close. Like, I honestly feel like I kind of wasted my time grinding for uh, Time Loss Found Verdict now. We're going to wait for this guy, hit him with one tap. It's literally like, this is without full choke. This is the most broken shotgun I have ever seen in my life. Like, watch this. Like, what is that, bro? 
So that is pretty much going to be all of the gameplay that I have for today's video. After using the Ragnhild, this is honestly the most insane shotgun I have ever seen in my life. I think this is easily the best pellet shotty in the game, and it might even just be the best shotty overall. It might even beat out like something like Shappy, because the consistency of this thing is so stupid. Like, a, a time loss found verdict is one thing, and then this thing is like two levels above that. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like and a comment letting me know what you thought. And if you're new around here, it never hurts to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you do want to go the extra mile and support just a little bit more, I will have both my Twitch and my Discord linked in the description. Anyways, it's been Gravely. Peace.